So I am gonna talk about some pies today. I know this is a plate of donuts, but it'll make sense later, I promise. I'm gonna talk about some pies today in the context of this question. And this question is asking me to apply some MCAT science uh, in the world of electrostatics and magnetism. And it's describing some wires and how they're arranged in space and all that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a picture. Part A gives me a wire and it's got a current moving up, moving to the north, 20 amps of current. And it's asking me, what is the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field right there, two meters to the west? Part B is similar in some ways, but the same wire is going around in a loop. It's gonna look like that. The current goes clockwise at again, 20 amps, and I need to know the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field at two meters away, that is in the center of the loop, radius two meters. Now that I know what the setup here is, it's time for me to take out some formulas. The formulas I need here for the current carrying straight wire is B, magnetic field, equals the permeability of free space, I'll come back to that in a second, times current over two pi r. <clears throat> We've got a couple different constants in this one. The permeability of free space is actually equal to four pi times 10 to the negative seventh. Now, if I ran into a question like this on the actual MCAT, they would probably give me this value if they needed me to actually do math with it. So I'm gonna keep it as a constant. Same thing with pi, but that's what the value is. Uh, pi uh, is another constant that uh, may be a little more familiar. Uh, 3.141592653, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The formula for the looped wire is actually almost the same. Magnetic field equals a constant times the current times just 2R. There's no pi over here. I told you I was gonna talk about pi's. There's no pi over here. Uh, and now I just gotta plug things in. <clears throat> the current here is 20 on the top. The distance R is two on the bottom. Do a little math. Two times two is four. 20 divided by four is five. So it is permeability free space times five over pi Teslas is gonna be my unit here. Uh, it's just the unit for magnetic field. Over here on the right, well, the plugging in is pretty similar. 20 on top, two on the bottom, and this time I've got permeability of free space times just plain old five Teslas. <clears throat> That gets me halfway to each of these answers. I have the magnitude, but I don't have the direction yet. How do I know the direction of the magnetic field? Well, magnetic field direction is a three-dimensional thing. If you've got current following, going through a wire, there is magnetic field in a circle all around it in a certain direction. And the way I can know what direction that is is by the right-hand rule. Right-hand rule is I think about my hand holding on to the wire and my thumb moving in the direction of the current. That means my fingers are the direction of the magnetic field. So for part A, the right hand rule looks like this and my fingers are coming out of the page. That means our answer, my answer is that this current's coming out of the page at this particular point. The way I draw that is by having bunch of big old dots. If it was going into the page, it would be a bunch of X's. And that's what it looks like on the other side of the wire because it's a circle, uh, the, the whole field. Then for part B, what's the direction for part B? It's the same right hand rule. I imagine holding the wire, this time going around in a circle and my current goes in the direction of my thumb. And in this case, my fingers are going into the page and the X's are on the inside, and the big old dots are on 
the outside. So my final answer is part A, this is my magnitude and my direction is out of the page. Part B, this is my magnitude and the direction is into the page. But the hardest part about this question or one of the hardest parts about this question is just knowing the formulas from the very start. I would have been in trouble if I didn't know what to plug in or which was which. And these are pretty similar formulas. Just this, this one has a pi and this one doesn't. Well, the way I remember which formula is which is, well, this is a straight wire and this is a looped wire. But this looped wire, you know, if you look at it, kinda, kinda looks like, kinda looks like a donut. And what I think to myself is, is if I already have a donut, I don't need the pie. but I prefer the chocolate ones. <laughs>